tools that you're gonna need for this project, depending on what it is, you may need, if I can get this to focus, is uh, vinyl fabric and plastic flexible adhesive, right? So this is for the speaker itself, um, just in case that the um, the adhesive wore out around the, um, the cone itself. If that's not the case, then uh, this I use is the uh, clear Gorilla Glue, um, which is pretty, which it's, I, I kind of highly recommend but this is for the uh, the uh, metal metal component I can't remember the exact name but it works for me okay so these are the products that I use the uh, Gorilla Glue and the Loctite you're gonna need a flathead well a four um, uh, Phillips screwdriver and you're gonna need you can use a butter knife or a flathead screwdriver to pry the device open and then you're gonna need a clamp and a ruler. The ruler reason why I have a ruler is so that way when I um, glue the uh, speaker together I can clamp it down and let it dry overnight and go back to it but I'll show you in the other video. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to get your speaker right so you want to start here at the front and at the front you want to make sure you pry open the clamps right so there's clamps that's right here so stick the flathead screwdriver in and as you see it lifts up right don't worry you're not gonna break anything right so there's a clamp right there and then there's a clamp if I can get the camera to focus there's a clamp right here so all you wanna do is twist it up and once you do that you're able to open up the speaker right so the problem that you have lies within one of these speakers okay and that's all you're gonna do so if you have this crackling issue it's gonna be in one of these speakers so in my case because again I have a drill this is what I'm gonna use but for you you may need a screwdriver right so you just want to stick it in and open it up because we're doing this video and I want to make it as fast as possible Right, because I understand people uh, attention span we're just gonna use this but be mindful if you do use this right you may damage the uh, the head so take your time take out the four screws there's four there's eight screws take out the eight screws right there's four Right, it just makes the process faster. Right? It just makes the process faster, that's all. Now once you're done with that, now you can remove the speaker itself. Okay? So you can take them out like this. Now, this is what it would look like. Okay? Up close in person. This is what it would look like. Now there's some sort of, the way they have it situated, the way JBL, JBL has it situated is that there's some cl clips in here which doesn't allow you to pull this off, right, as you can see. So, in my case, what I had to do is inside here, right, if you can see, if I can get close, inside here, there's a, clip, there's a pin and you just pull it, right, so you pull one side right and that just gives you some wiggle room to do whatever work you need need to do so if you had an issue with this speaker you can fix this speaker if you have an issue with this speaker you can fix this speaker in this part of the video I'm pretty much explaining the procedure of how to repair the broken speaker now prior to that what I'm doing is showing you how the um, the magnetic part disconnected from the actual speaker itself and that allows the audio to go through the speaker and obviously make sound um, I don't have time to get into the whole way that works but I'm just pretty much explaining that this is the reason why you are having that crackling that uh, sound that feedback weird feedback sound or if the audio is not coming out as clear as it should be uh, and as you see, I'm just fast forwarding through the process and I'm applying Gorilla Glue um, on the outer part of it where the glue wore. 
Now, don't get me wrong, the speaker is very dur durable. JBL has made a great, durable speaker. Um, and, like, I've swim with the speaker. I've had it in water. I wrote, I ride my bike with the speaker. I do everything you can possibly think of with this speaker. And it has survived. The only issue was that, it, I guess, due to, I guess, it, time, right? It, the glue just wore out around the edge and I just showed you how I used the Gorilla Glue clear Gorilla Glue around it and I used the uh, a clamp and a ruler just to and, and just let it sit overnight and it's back to working perfect. the glue that gave away around so this is a I forget the name of this but this is the glue that gave a gave away and I pretty much used the Gorilla Glue uh, to fix this device now once you fix this device what you want to do is again there's only two speakers right although it has and this component this is not a speaker and this is not a speaker right these are your speakers here you want to make sure that you put it in the same way you took it out okay so when you take it out you're gonna put it back in the same way okay and then after you do that again this is the rubber seal here for so that way the water doesn't get into the the uh, logic board and damage the logic board again this device is waterproof right and this has been built well so you want to make sure that you tie it down put it in make sure you align it make sure that it fits correctly right <clears throat> And then you're going to put everything back in reverse order. Put everything back in reverse order. Alright, so make sure you plug it in. And, again, that's how we fix... That's how we fix the uh, JBL speakers. speaker itself. Let's power it on. Mm -hmm. Right, so here we go.